Hi guys, this is Gadgetman404 and today I'm doing a little flight with my Cyma X8C. I've got an iFindU Bluetooth locator uh, installed on the top with some Velcro and as you saw uh, a green thing on the front right arm that is actually a GPS tracker watch which when I plug it into my computer it tells me distance, altitude, speed etc so that's why I had it installed I think I got to like 120 uh, possibly 120 meters when I eventually go as high as I dare go and yeah I mean it's a good little flyer the Cyma but it really has to be a calmer day than today today the wind was quite strong so um, yeah it wasn't the best day to be flying but because the weather's been so bad over the last few days I haven't been able to fly my free X as that's more expensive and I don't want yeah so um, I do some altitude and the reason being uh, I wanted to see if the you can buy like uh, GPS loggers can't you where you attach it to your craft and it'll tell you how many miles you've flown, etc, etc. So I'd already got a GPS tracking watch and I thought, well, I may as well use that. So I just strapped it onto the front arm. It didn't um, upset the characteristics of the Cyma at all. It flew really, really well. Uh, at this point, um, I'm, qu I'm very high, so you probably can't even see if you can impose the screen by zooming in then you might just see something but uh, at this point it's it's quite high up there and I'm fighting with the wind and I think that it's actually staying put but actually as I'm moving my head it's actually slightly it's coming back because the breeze is sort of blowing it back so then I start to lower and then take control and now it's going forward because I can actually you know I'm actually able to see where it is uh, but this is a great quadcopter really good for beginners this size quadcopter got me thinking about getting a GPS quad and I love with it being white flying against the green it really just stands out just looks awesome it's a, it's a real steady flyer it really needs to be uh, calm to no wind really if I'm honest just because of the kind of quadcopter it's brushed motors so there's cogs on cogs but you know when it's calm it, it's, it's all right it's quite nippy it's never gonna break any speed limits but it's not bad and uh, I just wanted to put this video together for you guys as the weather has been windy and then if I didn't fly at all, then that's it for another week. I'm at work now, today, Friday, and I'll be working until gone 10 o'clock tonight. Same again Saturday, same again Sunday. I only get half a day on Monday, and then I'm working again all day Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday are the only days I can do anything related with flying modding etc and i'm fairly busy with work so i have to do this in between and where i can so um just want to say thanks for all the subscribers i think i'm touching 186 so thank you guys something i never thought you know would take off for me and it's not took off really but i still enjoy doing it so i hope you enjoyed this flight please continue to subscribe this has been Gadgetman 404, out.